Hi guys, welcome to this video review about the new Vimeo platform after they have introduced some AI functions and they are doing a lot of ads, they are everywhere and so we are really tempted to use. Unfortunately, it's not possible to try it out without a subscription. The good thing is we can make a subscription and then cancel it. So this is what I have done here. I'm now in the seven days trial. And so I wanted to show you how this works for me. And after trying it for a couple of hours, I'm totally convinced of it. I'm totally positive that I'm not going to use that. Yeah, that's definitely something which is not working for me, but I'm going to show you the details here anyway so here's the pricing and this is what i'm subscribed to that's the standard usually 33 dollars per month if you are on a monthly or if you are on an annual subscription then it's 20 dollars but you have to pay everything at once per year what you can do is on a 20 videos what they are not clearly saying is if that's per month but i think it's per month there are also some more limitations you have two terabyte bandwidth with that i think that's really per month 120 videos and there's also a 20 gigabyte limit but that's not here for some reason can't find this but i'm going to show you that live anyway so here back to the page when we go down here we can see they are saying ai video editing sounds pretty tempting i mean they have been also very active regarding ads or advertise that platform since many many years but now since they have added this ai it looked really tempting so we can click here how this works and we can see that so we have the text here but we still have this timeline which we can use and it looks like it's even somehow interactive that's weird so we can click on something that's a pause here and we can click on delete this thing yeah that's really how this works that's awesome we can really work on that and we can even mark whole sections and then it comes up with a pop-up and then we can say if you want to keep or delete we delete that here and so we click here where we want to start and we can play that head of internal on board you can see so it has removed this part we can even bring the deleted part back so that's pretty cool that's nice so first thing we can use the editing as we want it and second is it's showing the pauses and third thing it's supposed to delete these filler words maybe something like that you can see we have them here so we can click here and it's supposed to remove that let's focus here if it's removing that click and no, it hasn't removed that for some reason. What makes our uh, clickety clocks tickety talk? Our okay, maybe I have done something wrong, but this is how it works. So even though it didn't remove that automatically, it looks really tempting. And so let's go to the main page and add something. So I have here a video. I'm uploading this here. You can see now it's uploading this. And I'm doing same thing here on capping a little bit to compare how this works. Can see that already here. And so let's go back. And so this is after about a minute. You can see on Vimeo it's still working on it, while on capping it's ready since long time. Of course, we do not have all the AI functions currently available on Capwing. So what we have here is something really interesting, something which I'm always using, and that's the smart cut. We can click on that and it removes all the silences which I had here. You can see it's much smaller now, but we can go even further and use the transcript so i click on that generate transcript it's not unlimited it counts towards my 300 minutes which i have per month or so but you can see it works now let's go to why mio i it looks like it's still working on that let's refresh maybe it's finished now it's finished okay now what we can do here is to click on this video 
Yeah, it still says optimizing. That also takes quite some time sometimes. Let's go back to the library. What I wanted to show is this weekly 20 gigabytes, which I've promised you. And I really don't know what exactly that means. I think it's the space, it's not the bandwidth. So I've tried this already to delete one of these videos. You can click on delete and then the usage goes back down. So it looks like it's more the storage amount which you can use per week. And so this is still generating, takes really lot of time. This is in general something a big complaint from me on Vimeo. Almost everything takes really, really long time. If you are on Capwing and you're complaining about that it's slow, yeah, just go to Vimeo and you will appreciate the speed here on Capwing again. So here we are, you can see pretty much the same thing, but it doesn't have automatic things. It's not supposed to detect like this um and um and all these filler words that's not going to happen here but still it detects something that has never been here before i don't know why this is maybe just because i have removed the silence here but it's pretty much the same thing what we can do here so i can remove for example something which i've been saying uh, repeatedly so I think that's something which I have repeated even multiple times. And so I delete this. And so this should be still a complete sentence. So let's play that here. And so we are not able to upload to Weather Underground or so, but apart from and so we are not able to upload to Weather Underground or yeah, so. It was but not bad, but also it's not perfect. That's my biggest complaint here on Capping that if you remove something then it's really sometimes a little bit bumpy here and not smooth and we have to manually adjust here the cuts after we have been cutting out these so i'm going to play that again later on the ground and so we are not able to upload to yeah that was not really bad but it was not perfect so this is how it looks the good thing here is what we have we, ha we see the audio here as a wave line that's really helpful for editing especially if we make this a little bit larger we know here we can cut here we can usually cut but i mean most of it is cut anyway automatically and what we have also is these multiple tracks here so we can have automatically uh, pretty much unlimited tracks and that's a total different thing here yeah it's still working on that that's crazy so let's go for the moment to a different video which i've edited that's the result of the video here and video here so i'm clicking on that what we can see here is it's very disappointing when we are here we are supposed to click on edit video and then we should have the chance to choose the normal classic edit or the text-based editing. So I'm clicking here, but because I have chosen to go with the classic one, they will never again present me the op to use the text-based editing. That's very disappointing. That only works with a new video. I don't know why, but it's very disappointing. Then we can see also other very disappointing things. Here I've added a title. I mean, that's a general thing, general limitation with Vimeo, but you can see you cannot edit here directly in the video. You have to edit here. And then it's super hard to find out what is what you can see here. I have four lines and here I have only three lines. So how can you find which word is which one? And it's not doing automatic text breaks. And so it's very, very limited. And also what we see here, when we go to the edit or trimming here, you can see we get a timeline here, which you can use to cut some things, but that's pretty much it what we have. We only have this split function and we have only one track. We have only one track, yeah. We cannot just cut something and then put it underneath or something like that. It just gives us an additional scene. And if you want to cut this one here, we have to click on that and then click here again. And then we have one timeline, just one. That's a huge limitation to have just one timeline and having no audio wave pattern. That's also something which is totally missing here.
Yeah, you can see I've uploaded this nine minutes ago. Now it looks it's ready after nine minutes. Yeah, it took really, really long time. Now we can click on that and now we have all the options here and we have this edit and trim we can click on that now it's asking if you want to use the classic edit or if you want to use the text-based editing the new one by the way if you choose that you can still use the normal edit so i don't know why they are presenting us the classic option where we can never go back to the text-based editing so i'm choosing this one here and now again it takes very very long time you can see that here it's transcribing the video but on capwing we have been ready to use the text-based editing already about five minutes ago or so but now finally it's ready and you can see it has detected all these breaks all these empty spaces so we could use the automatic function to remove the filler words and gaps I think it hasn't found any filler words, but I have a lot of repetitions, probably also filler words, and so I don't know why it hasn't found them. I mean, it's still pretty new, so let's remove this stuff here. Yeah, you can see zero filler words found. That's impossible. I'm not talking two and a half minutes without filler words. That's not going to happen, unfortunately. So we remove that here. You can see it has shortened the video here a little bit, but we can keep working on that. And so I do the same thing as on Capwing and it shows me this pop-up here and I delete it. You can see it's a normal sentence and so we are not able to upload to either underground. Yeah, the words are a little bit wrong, but the sentence should be okay. So let's position here. It positions automatically here. That's good. So let's listen to the whole sentence. Like underground. And so we are not able to upload to whether yeah okay that was not bad i mean definitely not perfect so we would have to work on that if that's possible but it's also very difficult here because we do not see a wave form but it has done also a similar job like cap wing it's not a total fail but it's also not perfect it needs still some manual work but the manual work is definitely much much more difficult than on capwing and again we do not have this waveform we do not have multiple tracks we yeah pretty much everything is missing here also save is a little bit weird save doesn't mean just like saving the current work it starts uh, to render automatically that's also something which is a little bit let's call it weird and also the whole overview is a little bit confusing i would say at least for me also something while it's rendering and I click on it, I can't do anything, at least I think it just says optimizing. Now it's finished a couple of seconds ago when it was still rendering, it wouldn't allow me to edit. Now I can edit again, but you can see now it's not asking me if I want to use text-based editing or not. It's just using this because I've been choosing this once. And also watch what we have. I mean, there's pretty much nothing here. Now we have just the text-based editor and nothing else i mean we can remove that maybe get the menu back it's very very difficult the whole thing i mean how could i add some text and other things here maybe add a b-roll or so i think it's absolutely not possible super 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 limited and for me definitely not worth the 20 dollars per month i wouldn't even pay two dollars per month at the current situation for me totally disappointing if you need something like that text-based editor some ai function then i can definitely recommend the cap wing even though it's not perfect but i think it's still the best option i'm always trying around with why mio with io and some other platforms they all promise a lot but at the very end most of them are super disappointing and this one here works usually very reliable we have everything on one page we have all the functions we have all the layers everything what we need we have here right on one page multiple tracks we have the waveform we have everything here all the effects transition timing everything so if you're interested in capping I'll put down the link which you can use to set up your subscription. Doesn't have any disadvantages for you, but it helps my channel to keep going. And so I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.